Hey guys, I'm gonna just gonna sh make this quick video to show you how to replace the water pump in your windscreen washer reservoir for a VY Commodore, um, but it's the same for VT through to VZ. Um, yeah, it's a real easy repair that you can do if your windscreen squirters are not performing well, which is pretty common on old Commodores. Um, very easy mod for um, beginners to try. Um, and if you're not a beginner, I'll just quickly show you where the where it is and uh, how to do it. So this kit was, um, I think, like 20, 20 bucks. So this is what comes in the kit. We've got the pump, we've got a rubber seal there, a bit of hose and a, and a connector. I've never actually done this replacement, so um, we'll find out where all this stuff goes as we go. So in the um, VY Commodore, the washer bottle is actually um, in, built into where the plastic inner guard is. You may never have noticed it before, but if we just look in here, there, that's it, right there, you can see it. But you can't access the pump from there. The pump you have to access from the front of the car under the, under the front bumper just under where that fog light is so I'll just jack the car up a little bit to get in there easier and I'll show you. Now if you want to jack up the front of a Commodore the easiest way to do it if you've got a trolley jack is to jack it, jack it on the front cross member. I'll show you. See this this main cross member here um, I've just put some wood there to, to bolster it but I've just put the jack right in the middle that's strong there that's part of the subframe that will actually um, take the weight of the car, no problem. So I'm just going to jack the front of the car up a little bit. We don't have to lift the wheels right off the ground just for this job, it's just to uh, give us a little bit more space to work under there. Alright guys, so um, I'm just under the car now, um, pretty much directly under that fog light that I showed you before on the driver's side of the car. Um, now this is the this is the pump here, the old one, and to get it out, um, you can see right here is the seal that goes into this is the tank here. So we will just ease this out. Now water could dump on my head when I do this, but I think I've let it run pretty much empty. So I'd advise you to squirt all the water out of it out of the tank first, so it doesn't dump on your head. So I'm just going to pull this out. Oh, there's a bit of water. I'm just going to let that run out. So here's the pump. Basically, we just take off the old one and put on the new one. So there's an electrical connector at the top there. It's got a little, one of these little wire clips. So you just loosen that with a screwdriver. Like that, and that should that should just come off. Like that, don't lose the clip. And um, these are the two pipes, I guess, for the each side, the driver side and passenger side. Not sure which one's which. Just pull those out. There's the old one. Uh, by the guy way guys, um, I just thought I'd mention, because I mentioned that this video can be for beginners, um, I've got the car just on jack on its own. Um, so never ever put your body under the car if the only support the car has is a jack. I've only got my hands under there, um, not my head or my torso or any part of my body. So if it falls off the jack, um, you know, the worst that can happen is, well, nothing can happen because it's just my arm here. If I had to go any further under to do anything else, I would put car stands there. Um, I know most of you guys probably already know this, but um, I just thought I'd mention it so I don't get um, talk about it in my comments and just so beginners will, um, will know. 
Okay guys, so here's the replacement pump and I've just run into a, a problem. Um, because this car is a, a wagon, um, it has a rear washer as well for the rear door, rear tailgate window. Um, now the part that I've ordered is from a sedan, so it only has one outlet instead of two. The other pump that I, um, that I pulled out had two water outlets because this is a wagon. Um, so what I really need to do now is send off, get, send this pump back and get the correct one for the wagon. But just for the purpose of this video, I don't really care about the back window because I don't even have a windscreen wiper there. So in this case, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to hook it up only with the front windows, uh, squirters and not the wagon, the back one. So pretty much, I'm not sure which of these is which. So all I can really do is try, try each one and see. So you've got the new, the new rubber seal there. That just goes on like that. Um, we'll put the, put the electrical connector on. Now that can only go one way. Which is that way. So there, there's that click on. So we'll click this, um, this little metal clip back on to hold it in place. like so. Now this just sticks into the into the tank like so. Okay now one of these two hoses is for the front windows and one is for the the back tailgate. I've got no way of knowing which one. Oops. So I'm just going to put one of them on and, and test it. So there's that. Stick that back in there. All right. Now guys, um, here's the rubber hose that connects the water to the, um, to the squirters. Um, this can, this one seems in it's, it's in reasonably good condition, but this can sometimes get very brittle and broken. If yours is really brittle and no good, just, um, you can buy a new one just by they're very, they're a standard size, just a washer washer hose it's just called a length of washer hose so you can replace that I'm not going to bother doing that now um, so I'll just fill up the water in the car and we'll test it out Alright, so yeah, that looks like it's worked really well. Um, you can also just aim those squirters a little bit better if they're not aiming quite as, as they should. And also, in each, um, in each squirter there's actually two um, outlets. One, two. I just noticed on um, my driver's side only one of them is, is squirting. So what you can do is just get a toothpick or a needle and just and just clean out the other side so they so they both squirt. But I'm not going to bore you by doing that on film. Um, so thanks guys for watching my video. Um, that was my first car maintenance video, but I'm going to do more. Um, my other videos are, um, are about computer uh, repair. So if you like that, uh, please subscribe and comment. And if I get a good response, I'll make some more videos. Thanks again.